My name is Dr. Matt Cross. I'm the Director of Vertebrate Conservation with the Toledo Zoo. And today we're here in Michigan with our partners, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, collecting the sperm and eggs that will be fertilized for lake sturgeon that we bring back to Ohio to our facility on the Maumee River. So most of the fish are caught right out here where we've seen some anglers out here this morning. And this is a really unique setup with these large tanks where the fish are kept here for as little amount of time as possible. So there are some pumps right here that are pumping water directly in from this very cold river. All in all, the sturgeon aren't in these tanks very long and they're taken right back out into the river right about where they were caught. So they get the fish out of the tanks, it takes a few people, they can be up to 150 or so pounds. We gather them up, take them over to the tables. There are people that are checking tags, taking a genetic sample, and then the most important part is, is collecting the eggs and the sperm. Uh, there are a couple people that are in charge of collecting those gametes, and then we fertilize the eggs right here on site. So we're here with Genoa National Fish Hatchery. So we'll get all half the eggs for the Toledo Zoo, half the eggs for Genoa. The eggs are placed in these containers, they're fertilized, then they're just mixed together slowly with a turkey feather over about 30 minutes. We use a turkey feather for a number of reasons. Nice and soft, they're readily available. In addition to the egg collection, we have Dr. Trevor Pritchard here and one of his students from University of Windsor, and their specialty is looking at motility and viability of sperms. They immediately put it on the slides and look at it under a microscope, and they're scoring it to determine the motility of the sperm, the mobility, how much they're moving and how viable they are. And that tells us a lot about the health of the population. What they've been seeing here today is very good motility. On their scale, four is highest, and they've been seeing a lot of fours. So once we collected enough of the gametes from the fish, the fish are put back into a tank in the boat, and they're taken back out here where they're released. And what's really important is we don't collect all the sperm and eggs from the fish, and so they can still go reproduce naturally on their own following this procedure. This is a great example here of one of the remaining sturgeon populations still self-sustaining. They're spawning in large numbers. We don't have that in the Maumee River. So the, historically, the Maumee had a lot of sturgeon. Now, in recent years, very, very few, especially these spawning adults. So the goal here is to take fertilized eggs from up here and put these fish back into the Maumee River so they'll eventually come and spawn and hopefully someday make a self-sustaining population in the Maumee River and Lake Erie.